Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. The new Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus has been announced. And uh, as is always the case, we have the ongoing churning of newer and ever better cell phones, smartphones coming out. Um, I've actually been very happy with my upgrade from an S5 to the S7 Edge, which is what I have here. And if it looks big for an S7 Edge is because I have a battery case on it which charges it without having to plug it in which is kind of a cool option. Um, the new S9 though, the S9 Plus of interest is it's got DxO Mark's best rating ever. We're looking at a 99 overall here uh, and actually it was higher than that in uh, photo and a little bit lower in video so an overall 99. Prior to that uh, we had the iPhone 8 Plus achieving the highest score with a 94. Uh, and then the Google Pixel 2, um, two weeks later, came out and brought it up to a 98. Now the S9 Plus has beaten out the Google Pixel 2 by one point. So not a huge beat out, but still the new reigning champ is the S9 Plus. So I don't know about you guys, but I've kind of pulled off the ongoing ever never ending upgrade train for phones uh this my s7 edge i love it but i waited till the s8 was out and then got an s7 i originally thought i was just going to get one on my plan it turned out to be cheaper for me to find one locally i actually found one right here in the small town of woodstock where i'm from and i was able to negotiate down to 400 canadian for an 11 month old perfect condition s7 edge um with an otter box case uh, that fit the edge so i was very pleased with that what drove my upgrade at the time was i was still happy with my s5 a lot of people i think are still using an s5 but I was noticing that some of the newer apps I'm using, uh, maybe maybe more the quantity of apps I'm using now, the phone was actually not as fast as it used to be. Um, even I, I, I tried to reset it. I tried to clean it out. I tried to run some boosting apps for memory and whatnot. And it still just wasn't performing the way I remembered it performing. And I think that's just technologies moving forward. We're running more apps, more things on our phones. And I knew that the S7 Edge had a lot more processor power and a lot more RAM than my S5. I was able to sell my S5 for $220, uh, and I bought the Edge for $400. So really, the upgrade cost me $180. I was very pleased with that. Buying the phone myself kept me off contract, although I have a very good plan with Virgin, but I'm also not locked in if I find the plan becomes uh, better somewhere else. The big thing... Uh, with the S7 Edge, the improvement that I was very pleased with was not only the speed, I did notice immediately uh, just an overall better user experience because the phone was faster, the apps worked better, I was able to flip, I wasn't getting the phone bricking up as you were or locking up on me um, or stuttering, uh, it just seemed to be a much better user experience and, and I'm assuming that's the processor and the RAM. But the other thing that was huge that I was very curious about was the S5 had a very good camera in it, and I knew that the S6 didn't do a lot for the camera, but the S7 went to the dual pixel autofocus and a much better low light camera. And of course, I wasn't sure, you know, how good could a, a phone and a camera be, but actually, the S7 Edge has a phenomenal camera in it, and I was very pleased. We're into 4K video. Um, with a very, very good camera and dual pixel autofocus. So all those things as a photographer, and I'm assuming to many of you, I mean, if you're watching this channel, you're interested in photography and videography, um, that was a huge update for me for the S7. So it more than made the less than $200 cost of the upgrade for me worth it. So now I see the S9 Plus, the camera has taken the top score on DXR Omar, and I'm interested i'm going to go actually probably go back and compare the two between the s7 edge and the s9 on what it, what it was i suspect there's not a lot of difference because there was a big jump with the s7 and i think it was essentially the same camera in the s8 i'd be curious to see exactly how much better the 9 plus is now than say my s7 edge here i'm still very happy with this so uh to throw it back to you guys though how many of you uh, are mirroring my experience now. I mean, I used to always get on the upgrade train. So when a new camera was or a new uh, phone was coming out, I would upgrade, get it through my package, whatnot. And it was always fun to have a new toy. Now I find they're getting so expensive. I mean, they're usually the top phones are at least a thousand dollars, 
and I'm usually staying two behind now. As I said, I had the S5. I've now gone to the S7, and it was a big jump from the S5 to the S7. I probably will not get the S9 right away, as I'm still very happy with the S7. So maybe by the time the S10 comes out, I'll be looking at an S9 Plus and hopefully getting one at the same type of price that I was able to get this S7 Edge at. Do you guys do the same type of thing? Are you still on the train, the upgrade train? Do you get the latest and greatest phone every time and you and you enjoy that? And it's and that's fine. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking it. I've been a lot more budget, budget conscious lately and I just find uh, this way I'm not constantly spending a lot of money on a new phone and when I do upgrade when it's two iterations similar to cameras I kind of tend to do the same thing unless I'm getting one on loan um, but that way I'm not spending a whole lot of money on my upgrades and when I do do an upgrade I'm seeing a much more significant jump because it's usually at least two models up from the one I had so I'm just curious how you guys approach it do you take a approach like mine where you're waiting a model two models three models before you get the next one? Are you buying something like I did in very good shape used? Are you waiting for a sale? Uh, or are you still happy and looking forward to the latest and greatest model every time? Just curious to see what you guys have to say. What do you think about the S9 Plus hitting the top DxO mark score? Are you, are you like me? Have you had like something like an older an S4 or an S5 or an older iPhone and then you've had a newer uh, S7 Edge or a newer iPhone and you've really been impressed with the way the phones have gone on these? Because I think they've made some huge jumps. Curious to hear your feedback. Let me know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. What do you think about this new ranking on the S9 Plus? Uh, what's your upgrade path? What do you normally do when you upgrade? Is it the camera when you make see huge jumps in the camera is that what causes you to want a new phone let me know let's discuss it looking forward to hear what you have to say thanks for tuning in stay tuned we'll be back soon here at art of the image.com